It's Alpha the Wizard, back at it with another video. Today we have me versus Jtastic1029. This is a Dragon Riders tournament match. Make sure to check out their Facebook page, link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop in. We see me winning the rock, paper, scissors shoot, decides to go first. All right, in opening hands, we have Hobnus, Rhino, Solik, Super Poly, and Kelvec. The opponent has Terraforming, ooh, he has Map, Ad, or Unexplored Wen, Evenly, and Dark Ruler. So he's going to be on Flunder versus Ashizu Tier. So we're going to start off with Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart Effect the Dump. That's going to dump Hobnus, Hobnus Effect the Fuse. Pretty weak start for us, if I have to say. But we are getting to a Kikalos. The mirror match probably would have cooked us, though, with a Bistial. Um, Kikalos effect to search or dump. It's going to get a Merrily. And then Kid effects. We need a lot more recursion. So we're just going to go ahead and mill 8 here. 3 with Merrily, 5 with Kit. Okay, so yeah. We are playing the Sprite list in this one. So our mills were pretty good though. We hit Solik, Sheeran, Havnus. That's pretty strong actually. Sheeran effect, Solik two. Add Sheeran. And then we fuse those into a Rukalos, just in case they have like a Nibiru. Activate Sheeran because we are gonna keep trying to go. Pitch Kelbeck. And then hit merrily but we already use no we didn't use merrily yet we activate the merrily we probably could have kelbeck milled here because we have a shuffler in a graveyard plus rucalos yeah it probably would have been more optimal to make a mill five but i was thinking that i already used two tier names so if it's a mirror match they have like nine tier names that they could hit as opposed to like my three so now we go into a garura Link those into Sprint. Sprint 1, Garuda 2. Chain Keldo. And I'm just shuffling back the two Beavers and Solik because we really want to have the Beavers in deck for the Sprint. Because it's going to dump the Nimble Angler. <clears throat> Garuda draw first, dump Angler. Angler effect to summon two. We're going to get two beavers. And then overlay those for gigantic. Gigantic effect. Detach. Summon out blue. And then blue effect. It's going to get sprite red. Uh, summon out red. Link those into an elf. Elf effect to revive from grave. It's going to get Jet, Jet Effect, because we did mill the Jet. That was kind of clean. Add Smashers. Set Smashers, Set Solix, Set Super Poly, Pass Turn. I honestly don't know what deck would be able to break this board, though, to be honest. Like, let's be honest, because we have Super Poly, Smashers, and Solik. That's going to be kind of hard to break, if I'm being real. Uh, he just admits defeat, goes on to the next game. I feel like he could have tried to play, though. Like, evenly match is pretty strong there. All right, moving into game number two. We're going to see Jtastic go first. Opening hands, we have Merrily, Sornir, Mudora, Beaver, Sheeran. He has Featherstorm, Map, Toucan, Judgment, and Defissure. I feel like... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, sometimes that happens. Uh, I feel like this is just an FDK because he has Map plus a Bird plus Featherstorm and Judgment. That's just game. He's going to fire off Defissure and Map. Map, get Robina. Normal summon, Robina effect. Add back. Summon Robina, Robina effect. Get M Eaglin. And then normal summon the Impen, Robina 2, or Eaglin 2. He's going to add the Dreaming Town. Set Judgment. Set Dreaming Town. Set Feather Storm. And that's just game. Draws into nothing that can help us against Flunder. It was actually pretty smart of him to just scoop game one. 
even though he probably could have won because of evenly, but I had no idea I was playing against Flunderies. So that was actually really, really smart. I improperly sided because as you see, I still have a bestial in here. Normal summon beaver, activate effect, chain map. Summon out the thing. And then, yeah, he's going to get the Robina back and search for Eagland. Searching the Ryza. Summons Robina. Robina effect to search Statue. He's just going to summon Statue. And we just go ahead and scoop. He didn't even have to Featherstorm to win that game. My hand was just significantly weaker than his. Okay, moving on to game number three. We're going to see me decide to go first. Let's see what the hands are. Uh, we have Sprite Blue, Beaver, Solik, Keldo, and Zombie World. The opponent has Dreaming Town, Impen, Duality, Prosperity, and Statue. Interesting hands from both sides. Normal Summon Beaver, Activate Effect. He has no going second card, so we're just going to get the freely play. Beaver Summon Angler. You definitely want to summon Angler over another Beaver because we play two Angler, and if we get to a sprint, we'll still have two Beavers left in deck. And this is why we play the 3-2 ratio. Three Beavers, two Anglers. Special Summon Blue, Activate Effect. It's going to get Sprite Red, Special Red. And then link those into an elf, elf effect. The reason why we didn't make sprint first is because we want to have elf and sprint on the field. And in this line of play, we can just elf revive back and then still make sprint anyway with red on the field. So that's why I went this route. Bring back angler and then those go into a sprint. Sprint dump the angler and then we still got two beavers in deck since we played that out correctly. All right, summon two of the beeves, and then overlay for gigantic in defense mode, gigantic effect. Summon out merrily, merrily effect a mill. Um, we're doing this because we want to hit, like, you know, if he has evenly match, we can hit, like, a, a banshee. We can hit a shuffler. You know, there's, there's a number of good things. Plus, we have Solik in hand, so it's just basically an imperm. But we do see we hit a Shuffler. That was the only decent thing. We're thinking hard about our decisions here. We just go ahead and make IP, set Solik, activate Zombie World, and pass turn. Very, very weak inboard, honestly. Draws into an Eagle in, though. Activate do our prosperity. All he needs is an evenly match, really. That's pretty sad. Doesn't get the evenly match. Adds ultimate slayer. Okay. I said thinking on resolution. Okay. What's he have? So we're not getting shifted because he prosperityed, so we know that. So now we have a lot to think about on resolution, let's be honest, because we can elf revive merrily before he can like normal summon something, and then we can just solic like his normal summon. Um, but if he normal summons first and then I chain elf, we won't be able to get the full value of solic. Activate, yep, that's what we do. We activate Elf, get Merrily, and we could mill a Banshee off of that, too, to get to the zombie world. Ooh, and we do hit some good mills, Sheeran and Solik, but the most we can make here is a Draco Sepalia, or we could use Merrily for Kikalos. Yep, Sheeran, Solik. Add Javi, Resolving Sheeran. Make kit. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so blonde sometimes. We actually cannot make kit here unless we use the hobness in hand because we're under zombie world. Okay, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, big thinking. We're just going to use Sheeran and Gigantic Sprite. Because most tier sprites only play one Gigantic. So, it's a pretty safe bet to just recycle. But now, since we know he has Ultimate Slayer, it's probably just... Oh, yeah, we can't make... 
uh, Mud Dragon either. It just has to be Garura. Okay. Yeah, because if you look in the grave, they're all zombies now. And the only darks that we have that we would be able to use for Mud Dragon would be blue. But since they're all zombies, it's just Garura. Uh, then activate IP effect. Use that and the Garura for another Sprend. Garura 1, Sprend 2. All right, so it's not a terrible play. Now we can make a Drago Sepalia. Dump Merrily, draw a card. Yep, and then we're just going to use Merrily. Hmm. Make Drago Sepalia. This should be in defense mode, though, because if he gets to an E or an M pen somehow, he can just negate our Drago. But in this case, I wasn't too worried because I'm like, okay, if he summons a bird, I just Drago it anyway. Now he's just going to activate duality. He's digging for hope. Nope, not going to do it. He adds Robina. Yeah, it's looking like it's a pretty good game for us. Oh, he said, yeah, you got it. Yeah, there's no way that Flunderese is going to be able to break this because we have Red Live, we have Solik Live, we have Drago Sepalia Live, and we have Hovness in hand after we send the Merrily with Solik, and we also have Merrily Fuse. Yeah, it's just not looking good for him, to be honest. But yeah, that's the end of the match. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below for more content. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next one.